Okay, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to download a torrent. I'm going to use, for example, Need for Speed. First, you go, you have to have four programs. First, no, three. First one's Daemon Tools Lite. I'll put all the links in the descriptions. By the way, the links will be on AdFly, so I get like, I think, a cent each time someone clicks on them. So it's Daemon Tools, WinRAR, and views v u z e whatever however you spell it say it okay so this is the thing you actually need the torrent to download no uh, be, there's no uh, virus uh, winrar is to generally open it and daemon tools is to burn it don't worry you actually have to use a disk it's mounting seems difficult it's not Okay, first you go on views, you download it. The free version is fine. See, instead of, um, I have it already. So that one, WinRAR, you just go on downloads, and then English 64 or 32 bit, whatever, or whatever if you're French, Finnish, whatever. Yeah, that's pretty self explanatory. Daemon Tools, same thing, just click on download free here. You can also search these up on. Google all the time. Actually, no, these these are the pro. You have to go down, scroll down here. See? Damn tools, light, download, and so free version. Uh, yeah. Then for I'll get, I'll put put in the link, but it's actually quite easy. Just need for speed. Let's say I think the I'll do the run. Need for speed the run. See here, and then you always look. Whatever you download, you can download a heck load of crap here. Anything, you can, and always look for the comments, right? If there's lots of it, it's normally quite good. Then here, there's ratings. This is a really good rating, actually. Comments, and then oh, need help, blah blah blah. Oh, it's really great. Oh, works like a charm, blah blah, and so on. Okay. So you click download torrent up here. This is after you've installed views, right? And then open with or whatever you're using yeah just click OK it'll open in see blah blah scanning for virus finish see uh, and then the it opens here I have m multiple downloads running right now and then it'll start downloading this might take a day less it depends on your internet speed and it always varies a little bit okay so when you finished with that um, I'll exit uh, you have it'll by default, it will um, save your stuff in Documents. Documents, View, Views, Download, and then it's Need for Speed the Run. This does not look like much, okay? Now you open up Daemon Tools, Light. You can also get the Pro version, but that doesn't it doesn't actually benefit you. Let's get rid of these. There, nothing in here yet. I'll get rid of this too. Sorry. Okay, good. Then you click this little button here, add image. See? And it you and then you navigate to your folder, need for speed, and you click all images, just easier. And then click the first one. This for example, this one you if you look at it, it ends with the A and this one ends with the B. It could also be numbers or something. So you click on this, this is the winner symbol, so you have to have that. Open. Okay? That's here. Now I click on this and then click the yellow, uh, the green button. It will mount the image on this one on a drive. It creates a drive um, that does not actually exist. See? Now suddenly I have an extra CD drive, whatever. Okay, now I can. Actually, no, I can't do that yet. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, right? Double click on it, just run it. Select your language, I'll have English, install. Then click yes. And now this message pops up because I have it says replace. I have all my stuff already. Here this'll and then you just um, you keep on going, right? And in the middle I can't do it right now. In the middle, um, it something pops up, right? Add another drive, right? Then you try doing the same thing then, you go over here, add, 
do that, do the same thing again, and here, this is a button for adding drives, see, we heard the sound, bloop bloop, blah blah blah, adding virtual drive, this is called mounting, now mount it on the empty one, for example, the other one, if I click on this, the auto installer comes up, if I click on this, only folders come up, right? Then you click um, this. This will pop up, and it'll ask you to go. It'll give you this folder again, right? And give me. It says something like need uh, number thirty-five, right? You, then you go on the B one, go on game, and just click the first one, right? And then it automatically gets all these game files. When you're finished, I'll just exit this. No, don't want to continue. There. When you're finished, you go on computer. Where I have it under data now this is my secondary. Need for speed the run, right? Then you'll have just get rid of that. You have something it says need for speed the run and application launch. But if you do that it won't work. Now you have to go on we have computer, just go on the secondary disk and it'll say crack. Go there, just copy that application over and replace it. I'll do that. Copy and replace. No, oh, wait, I have now, to stop and start again. Yeah, and this should be it. See, and then it starts up. Multiplayer will not be available because you need Arjun for that and that's crap. And you need to pass key for that. You can enable that if you have a keygen. Of course you can do that. But okay, like and subscribe. This works for literally any game. Always look up. There's sometimes specific instructions. Bye bye.